eye gauging's easy check is very, very good for around the workshop, setting up your machines for height and also width or position of your, your cutters or getting the center line on router tables. The easy check base is an anodized aluminium with a couple of rare earth magnets set into it. Really good when it's down on your cast iron bed for holding it in the right position. What we have is a head that's moving up and down and the measurements are either in millimeters, fractions or inches. We can change that over quite easily by hitting the mode button to scroll through all three options. Also, the on button can also be used at any height to basically bring it back to a zero point so we can make a difference. Also, for normal zeroing, we'd want to put him against the bed, push him down, go back to your zero position, and then we can start doing the measurements. What we can also do at any particular height is either lock it off with a little nut at the back there, which means that the stainless steel scriber could be used to mark this onto another piece of material, the exact height you're working to. What we could also do is we could take a particular measurement, press the hold button, and that would actually hold that number. Again, as we're working or walking around the workshop, the number isn't changing. Turning the easy check on is just hitting the green button. It auto turns itself off after four or five minutes, but it does also come with a couple of spare batteries. The batteries are easy to change. You just open up the little tab, take the old one out, pop the new one in, and just put it back into the body. And we are good to go. If we want to use the easy check to set a saw blade to a particular height, bring your easy check over, put it against your bed and make sure it's on zero. Press the mode if you want to change it to uh, inches or fractions. Bring him over so he's on top of the saw blade and just wiggle the saw blade to make sure at the top of the arc of where the saw is. If I was using it, I'd just put my finger on there to hold it down as you make that fine adjustment up to your finished height. If you want to make a very precise measurement between your fence and your blade, you can also use the easy check for this. But what we need to do, we need to work out exactly how thick the blade is. If you bring your fence over to your blade, put your easy check to the fence, Put the tip of the easy check to the blade and press zero. That's now basically measured the size of the blade. If you then want to bring this, let's say to 100 millimeters, bring it over to roughly 100 millimeters. And now if you put him up against the fence and the outside the blade, when this is measuring dead on 100 millimeters, it means it's 100 millimeters between the blade and the fence. If you want to get an accurate setting to the top of your router cutter, then what you would do, bring him down to your router bed and press him to zero. Pop him on the top of the cutter, not the body. And then what you can do is wind him up to your desired height, whatever that might be. One unique feature of the Easy Check is at the back, is really very flat, which means that you can make adjustments or measurements for things that are only just above the surface of your bed. So if I wanted to see how far this cutter is out from the fence, bring the easy check to the fence, bring him back to a zero position, put him over the cutter, make sure the cutter is sort of rotating so you'll get the maximum position of where the cutter is, which is there. What I can now do is adjust my fence back to any desired position I'm looking at before locking him off. Measuring from a fence to an outside of a cutter is fairly straightforward. Again, we can just make sure he's at a zero point, put him onto the tip of the cutter, and we have an external dimensions from the cutter to the fence. But if we want to measure accurately to the centre of a cutter to maybe get a cut central on a piece of timber, that's a bit more tricky. What I have here is a half inch shanked cutter. If I bring the easy check over, I've got a half inch number here. If I bring that half inch against the 
outside of the half inch cutter, that tells me dead center of the cutter is this 7.78, 7.79 millimeters to the middle of the cutter. If you had a 3 8 of an inch uh, shanked cutter, you'd come against the step here. Or if it was a more usual quarter inch shanked cutter, you would bring the shank up against the quarter inch positioning. We can also use the easy check on things like the spindle molder because it's quite a big size, this thing. We've got a 75 millimeters or three inches worth of reach. So we could use that if we were trying to set up a height of a block again, or again, a block from a fence out to its exterior dimension. For more information on all of iGaging's products, including the easy check, look at us on woodworkersworkshop.co.uk and check us out on our social media channels.